Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel again. In today's video, I will talk about a very important command and is considered the most useful network troubleshooting tool, which is the ping command. Many of us use the ping command, so I will explain how this command works and also explain the possible results of executing this command, as the ping command helps you check if the device or website is reachable over the network, and it works by sending small packets of data to the targeted IP address or domain name and waiting for a response. I will explain this to you in detail to learn how to read the possible results of this command. The ping command is used through the command prompt window so that you get the results well and you can benefit from executing the command. So open the command prompt window as an administrator. After opening the CMD window, all you have to do is enter the ping command. And one of its most important benefits is that it helps you diagnose network connection problems and test your internet connection and also troubleshoot computer connections on the network. You can ping an IP address on the network or any real IP on the internet, and you can also use the ping command to test the ability to access a website. Enter the IP address you want to test and press the enter button, and it will immediately check the response of this address on your local network or on the internet in the event of checking a real IP address. You can also, pinging a website, type ping and then the name of the site you want to test its internet connection. And in both cases, you will receive a response containing details about the connection. Now, let's review the different and possible results of using the ping command. We now have a successful response to the ping command when we did pinging an IP address and pinging a website, the response was pinging 192.168.1.1 with 32 bytes of data. And the response was a successful ping means that your device was able to connect to the target address. We also have the statistics of the ping command for 192.168.1.1 and the ping for the website. And I will explain in detail what these responses to the ping command mean. Since this connection was successful in the word reply from means and confirms that the address responded to the connection, and this confirms that the address is connected to the network or the internet. As for bytes equals 32, this is considered the size of the packet sent, as ping sends by default 32 bytes of data in Windows. And the time is, in short, the time it took for the packet to travel to the target address and return, i.e. the time taken to go and return with the response. And this time, varies from one ping to another, according to many data, the most important of which is the speed of the internet and whether the target address is on a local network or on a public network. And in general, the time is calculated in milliseconds and thus the low or short time indicates a faster and more responsive network connection, while the higher milliseconds indicates network congestion or long distances between devices. But in the end, the connection was verified successfully. As for TTL, it is an abbreviation for time to live, which is the time it takes to output a ping command. It represents the maximum number of network hops routers a packet can pass through before being discarded. For example, we have two numbers, 64 and 113, which means the packet had 64 or 113 hops available when sent, and each router it passes through reduces the TTL by one. And if TTL reaches zero, the packet is discarded, and you get a TTL expired error. Different operating systems have different default TTL, and this is a simple explanation of TTL. As for ping statistics, we have sent and receive, which are the number of packets sent and the number of packets returned. And you will also find the number of packets that were lost in case of loss. As for approximate round trip times, this shows minimum, maximum, and average ping times. Lower is better for good network performance. This is the first case of the ping command results, which is the case of successful connection to the target address and response, and verification that the target device is working and responding to the connection successfully. Now we move to another case, which is considered one of the connection failure cases. When executing the ping command to a target address, the response or output may be request timed out. What does that mean? In short, it means that your device was unable to connect to the target device or target address, and I will explain that to you. There are several reasons when you get 
the request timed out result. Perhaps the device you are testing the connection to is turned off, or perhaps the firewall is blocking the request, or security settings on the router are blocking the connection, or the device is not connected to the network, or there is a problem with the cables, or the routing is incorrect, so you have to explore this problem and work on solving it. Request timed out means that your computer sent the packet but did not receive any response from the target within the time limit period. As for the failed ping statistics, it will show you the number of packets sent and the number of packets received. As for the number of packets lost, it will be a 100% loss. And therefore, all packets were lost, which is a clear sign of a lack of connection. We have a final case, which is considered a failed connection case, but the failure here is due to a problem in the network. The response will be received, but the destination host is unreachable. And the response in this case comes from your router and not from the device or the target address. Destination host unreachable. Unlike request timed out, where no response is received at all, this message means your request was actively rejected by another device, often the router or gateway, and therefore the response comes from your gateway or another device on the network, not the target device. And even though you received four responses, all of them are telling you that the target is unreachable from your current network. As for the ping statistics for destination host unreachable, it will show you the number of packets sent and the number of packets received, while the number of packets lost will be a 100% loss, and therefore all packets were lost, which is a clear sign of a lack of connection. And this is all for today's video, where I explained some of the main points in the ping command, and we learned how to use it to test network connectivity and understanding different response messages. And I explained to you the three possible results of the ping command, which is important as the ping command helps you check the connection to the devices and as it works by sending small packets of data to a target IP address or domain name and waits for a response. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss new technical lessons. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there is a topic you would like me to cover next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.